Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 20 of my Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode playthrough. And my nutrition levels, uh, yeah, they've seen better days. Of course, I'm complaining about like having 96%, so. There we go. That should help a bit. Veg is still a little bit on the low side, but I'll take care of that the next time I eat. I need to fix that too. At least it doesn't try to take my sword away. So, that's good news. But, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's taking up a drawer slot. Uh, let's see, two stacks of ironwood. It's not bad. 23. So, one thing I could probably do is uh, steel leaf, right? Huh. 108. Not bad. Here, so, I'm going to need that later, so. But... Um, one thing I want to work on now is actually making the melter from nuclear craft. Actually, sorry, I made one. I thought I actually made it and put it down. And let's go ahead and put this extra another brick away. I've got... Uh, I'll just toss that in there. All right, there we go. So, managed to get a bucket of liquid ender. Well, resin ender. Because I want to make the, uh, the enderium thing, right? Uh, the sharpening kit. Let's get that quest out of here. And right now in here, I've got three lead and platinum ingot. Pop that into there, and it mixes into molten enderium. You got four ingots of it. Uh, sharpening kit, please. Thank you. And there we go. Now, I do like the uh, the Global Traveler on the, the pickaxe, but yeah. Think about upgrading the, the pickaxe head. Hey, there we go. Harvest level 10. Means I can toss that back into there. Let's just go ahead and pour that out. And it's going to take a little bit to cool. It's pretty slow. Also, I uh, tore out my Coke oven. Yeah, I need to fix the ceiling. I might just take this building down and redo it, honestly. I mean, it's not one of my favorites. There are things I like about it, but... Come on, there we go. Not the greatest thing ever, so... It gives me Prosper... Okay, well, I had Prosperous, I think, right? Yeah. So it gives me Portly Gentleman. Shift right click an entity to capture it. Foster ability based on entity health. Press the release entity key to... Uh, Default to zero in order to release it. All right. I doubt it's actually zero, but let's uh, now let's see. Category. Uh, plus TIC. Activate brown magic. Release entity is on. There's none on that. Can I do nine? Sure, I can do nine. So I can't teleport home right now. Cool. Yeah, you just screwed up, buddy. Oh, shot me. So now... Oh, nice. That... Sword did not do a whole... Oh, hi, dang. A lot of damage, though. Something has happened with my sword. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, it's broken. That's what. Like, I'm only doing 8 damage per hit right now. Yeah, I'm only doing 8 damage per hit, but I can still just massacre anything that comes in front of me. So, yeah. Um, Estonia, please. Let's get, like, 2 of those. Psy Metal. Sant Weave. Mana Weave cha changed up for the season. Elementium Helmet. And I can probably put that away. So, also, I think I have some Osgo Glass, right? Yes, I need three of these. Eh, that works. I have three. Alright. Because I want to make the binding on my sword out of Osgo Glass so I can use it to, uh, to warp back to base. I keep forgetting that I'm 
not immune to fall damage. So let's go ahead and we'll drop those into there. Get ourselves this thing repaired up. Two only took me to 1300 durability, so not the greatest. And let's go ahead and get an Inca cast. <coughs> Pour out the Enderium and let's check our quest book. So getting started, hey, Harvest Level 10. Gives me four Ender Pearls or four Platinum. I'm taking the Platinum, honestly. And then next is Terra Steel. Combined with the Platinum, okay. And Mana Pearls, Mana Diamonds, and Mana Steel. And that gives me four Infusion Crystals if I want it. So, like Terra Steel Boots, right? I can actually recycle these in an Arc Furnace, but that's about it. And do I have a tough binding? I don't. I need some clay for that, huh? That's a slight bit unfortunate. Also, yeah, you're dead. You're dead. Do 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 do. Wow, that's a lot of creepers. Wow, they're all just like gathered up over here. I just need two clay. And now I have to fight my way through all this. Oh, you're dead. Who are you? And you, and you. And why not you too? Oh, ignored that guy too long, didn't I? Yeah, the sword's a little a wee bit overpowered, but... I'm not going for fairness, honestly. I'm going for efficiency. This is not a pack about me running around and doing the whole adventure thing. Alright, come on. So, they can go into there. <sighs> so, yeah. God, I also need, like, cobblestone or something. Ow. Thank you. Oh, hey. Got a course plant. Which I found out they don't grow. You can just place them down, and that's all they do. Let's go to here. We're going to make one of these out of stone. And we're going to pour clay on it first. There we go. Might as well grab my leather while I'm here. Your poured. Ozical glass, tough binding. It'll take a second to cool. But, oh, nuclear craft. That's right. There was a quest for the alloy furnace, which I had to make to make the melter. I need a tough alloy. I didn't feel like using my smeltery forever. And then the melter itself melts down materials. Right, there's that. And we will... So, bumps up durability a bit, and gives me brown magic, sassy, and global traveler. Alright, awesome. So, what did we get from our, uh, our loots? Got a robot. Cool. And a terra steel. A terra steel, mind you. You're dead. Now, uh, what did I set it as? Ah, oh, dang, I forgot. Category. DIC is. Let's toggle GY now. 
set portal was eight. So eight. There we go. Cool. All right. So now my sword can definitely do the thing. Uh, let's go and put the gunpowder away. Now, what can I do with a single tear of steel? I can make a thorn, a couple of thorn chakrams. I can make half a terror blade. A lot of terra firma. Uh, I can make some nuggets out of it. I can upgrade. Band of aura. Band of magnetization. Band of mana. That might be a good idea. D rank terra shatterer. Uh, terra steel boots. Armor. And Gaia spirit ingots. So what can I do with the nuggets though? Natural pylons. That's an idea. Also, homing cartridges. Always fun. Oh, Elven Gateway Core requires a celestial altar, so I have to get into blood magic before I can do any more with the uh, the astral stuff. So, but since I have it, we're going to do that, and it's going to hold looks like four times as much, which is kind of cool and all, but. Not very useful, honestly. I don't have a whole lot right now that uses mana besides the uh, Goddess's Charm. Honestly, that's that's kind of it. Took the Sash off because, well, I have Step Up. And it was making it a little hard to control, like, everything. So, oh, yes. I started putting this together up here. Blast Furnace, which... Currently, it's not preheated because there's no power up here. And a Coke oven. But making... Making a lot of steel. Let's see, are you... Okay, you're done for now. Uh, if you get some icy 2 rubber wood into there, it... You get a lot of rubber per one. Oh, cool, he's shedding feathers too. And 21 eggs. I've not used him in a while, so... Whoops. Go here, like that. And we got 58 more. Alright, awesome. And let's say I can go away. Do I really only have 20 blocks of iron? Oh my. Yeah, it's kind of low. That's only like three stacks of ingots. Hardly ideal. Oh. Let's see, pressurizer, decay hastener, isotope separator, fuel reprocessor, fluid infuser, fluid extractor, uh, ingot former, which seems up good with the melter, machine interface, speed upgrade. Some machines will reset their work if they run out of power. Yeah, that's something I've run into before. So, at nuke, uh, let's see, upgrade. There we go. And the energy upgrades only work in conjunction with speed upgrades. They help balance out each additional one. Uh, process power of the machines. Upgrades can be stacked. Maximum number will have an effect equal number of in installed speed upgrades. Our use will decrease linearly with each additional upgrade. Well, let's just go ahead and make close the speed upgrade here. Get that quest out of the way. This is a free advancement. And... Blue chest is another goddess charm. Huzzah. That's, that's wonderful. Uh, do you play I could make a nuclear furnace. Those items very quickly using uranium and thorium ingots and dust as fuel. Uh, I don't really see much of a point in making that thing quite yet. Although I believe it is uh, useful later on. As a uh, crafting component, right? Uh yeah, we need for we need two of them for vision controllers. All right, so can I? Oh, hey, look, Wait. kitchen nightmare, nuclear furnace, and we're just gonna put that away for now. And while I'm thinking about it, go ahead and grab a stack of coal, grab our manufactory, and coal. Yep, takes a thousand art per tick. Uh, different things will uh, do different amounts of power, so. Okay, there it goes. Now it's dropping. I'm like, 
much energy was this cable holding? Because it, it has its own internal buffer, so. And, yep. It's down at the bottom here, where it, now it's slowing down. It'll wait till it refills enough to run a couple times, and then it, then it goes. But we'll go ahead and, come on. Thank you. Open this up. Ah, more food I've already eaten. And we'll keep one on us because it's got veg in it. Now, DU plating. What goes into this? Advanced plating, uranium-238, and sulfur. Ah, I have the sulfur. I can make the advanced plating without a problem. But, yeah. Uh, requires DU plating, fusion cores, or the uh, salt mixer. Vision, yeah. But, yeah. But how bad is the mining laser in this pack? Uh, it's pretty standard, honestly. Hmm. Now my, yep, nutrition's pretty well up there. Well, let's go ahead and clear some of this stuff out. Uh, check on this. Oh, good lord. Yep. Uh, it's been a couple of real life days since I played, and it's just like, wow, I didn't realize that's how it's full. Yeah, I only have like 10 glass, and I need resources. So, one thing I want to check on real quick I'm going to be cutting here soon to get some stuff and things taken care of. But I want to put that into there. And now, at X, dust, right? Material stonework and a pulverizer. Okay. So it's cobblestone, three times picks, equals dust. I can hammer it, I can craft it out of... Okay. And pulverize sand into the dust. Because you can turn dust, uh, fluid item transform, into clay blocks. Which is an idea, honestly. But, yeah, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. I want to do the, the stonework factories. They're, they're very cheaty, is what I've noticed. Like, here's a block, throw in power, you're done. Which, yeah, it's okay, I guess, but I don't know. Hmm. I do want to build with more bricks. Good. Get that put away. Uh, how am I sitting on concrete for right now? I've got like one. Let's do that. Um, need a bucket of water, which I do have this thing out here just for that purpose. my bucket back. So I want to go over here, and there was something uh, around it, right? Um, arches. There we go. So I want diameter 4, part A. Let's go ahead and grab some of those, and then diameter 4, part B. Get like two of those. I want to maybe use these for like building accents, so I want to see how they look. But yeah, this building's going to have to move soon. Oh, this is all concrete sheeting, by the way. Around the blocks and everything. Except for underneath the blast furnace, that's why there's this little lip right here. But yeah, can't do much about that one, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. So think about like that. Oh, and these are slag bricks, by the way. They're... Uh, slag bricks are just blick, bricks wrapped around slag, and you get eight bricks gives you eight of these, which is kind of cool, because regular vanilla bricks just, you know, eight gives you two blocks. So, yeah. Uh, not bad, but not what I was hoping for. 
All right, let's run back over to here. Um, say diameter threes. Try that. Is that gonna work? There's a, yeah, there's a special block I played around with before in a, a world I didn't actually record, but I'm really, ABC on the four, ABC on the three. No idea. Because this like looks thinner. The fours look thinner than the threes, right? Let's go ahead and get one of these anyway. That's a, a 3B. Oh yeah, that's a thick, chunky one there, isn't it? All right, let's come back up here. Oh yeah, that's that's... A lot more massive. I guess it would be these, but I don't know. Hmm. Oh well. We were saying these things are cooking and they're not throwing off any light at all. Also, look at that aurora. It's just awesome. All right, distractions. But I think I'm going to go ahead and cut here and not 100% certain what I'm going to do quite yet, but I'll, I'll figure it out and we'll be back once I know what I'm going to do. All right, we're back. And I think I've decided I'm going to start getting some ore processing stuff going. Uh, let's see. So first things first. Ooh, Nana Saber seems like fun, but underpowered. Uh, let's see. There's the... Iridium drill, which I need the iridium reinforced plates. I want to make a mining laser if I can. Go figure, right? Um, circuit. Alright, that's that again. Alright. So, one of those, please. Make a couple of them, just because I know I'm going to need extras. Alright, here we go. Mining laser. Uh, that should be a quest. Yep, that was. Mining lasers are fun, but I'm not going to use it to mine with. Also, 64 mud bricks. Ah, yeah. Hmm. Thing. I want to make the thermal centrifuge if I can, though. So, what am I missing? And actually, let's go ahead and... Do that, and we will... Favorite that thing, right? So I need another one of these coils. I can do. I uh, need a basic machine casing. Or no, I need an advanced one, sorry. Uh, steel, All right? Easy enough. There's our advanced machine casing. And the electric motor, which is going to take two coils by itself. But hey, we're good. Now I just need like two more of these. Which I make extra wires for a reason, because you need a lot of the cables. But thermal centrifuge. Which. Oh, look. I need to make the blast furnace set up here first. Alright. Uh, give me some 10. Alright. Silver 10. I think that was a tiny hair of server lag whenever that first started. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and clear that out. 
officer. Forge hammer, because I'm just going to do that. Oh my. I had a lot of tin plates in there. Right then. Um, uh, Alright, well, can I maybe look up cell? Yeah, universal food cell is just being a pain. I'm just do that. It makes things easier, right? Alright, so this thing. Wasn't wanting to show up over here for whatever damn reason. I need one of those, which I've made before, but it didn't recognize it, I guess. Uh, let's see. Thermal centrifuge can go away. I'm done with that. Electric heater. I even have the battery one. Really? I'm just missing... Uh, dang it. Uh... I did not mean for that to go away. Wrong button. Electric heater. I just need one of these heat conductors, huh? Maybe like two of those, actually, because I need one for the furnace and one for this electric heater, I believe. So, electric heater is a go. And then the blast furnace. Awesome. I can set up to steal the IC two way now if I wanted to. Which I might. But I also need creosote, so yeah. So basically, you fill the cell with compressed air, putting it in a compressor. Feed that into the blast furnace, it pulls the air out. Um, puts that into the blast furnace. Electric heater powers the thing by taking EU. Yeah, it's it's a fun little daisy chain of things there. But advanced machine casing too. Ooh, look, launch pads. But let's go ahead and get this stuff put away for now. And we got ourselves our advanced machine casing. Main ingredient in the industrial foregoing machine case. Got me another resonator. All right, awesome. That would have been a handy reward a while ago. So I need an induction furnace next. Upgraded electrical furnace. You want to operate at max speed and you supply it with one EU per tick and a redstone signal at all times. But once it heats up, it's it's fast. So. Um, look up induction, I guess. I want this thing. Because I'm going to need one of these, which means I need one of these. And then that. And that requires another advanced machine casing. Which I'm out of basic ones, too. Oh, that's cute. That's That sucks, actually. Um, yeah. And off camera, I made myself a plutonium RTG. This thing only generates 250 uh, per tick, so it's like a third of the Californian one I have over there, but it still it's Combined a total of a thousand or a tick for free. Basically raiding dragon's nests. So I got plutonium out of one and I got the Californium out of the other. So there's an option to make machine cases out of the uh the dense iron plates instead of the large plates from the Tinker Smeltery. Oh, in you go. And you're pretty much all just empty and, yeah, sitting there. Um, I did get another bucket of blazing pearl things. Let's go ahead and drop that under our smelter right here. Let's not run around with it in my hand, though. There we go. So we're 1.875. Well, there's two of these things. So, use them to make pellets of RTG fuel. Use that to make uh, plutonium ones as well. Uh, we got our iron drums from X2 Utilities, and then basic machine cases. Aluminum plates plus dense iron plates. It uses like four more iron, but it's completely machine-based. It's not 
reliant upon the smeltery, which unfortunately later on in the game, or in the pack here, there are things that require the smeltery, and it's... I don't know, I just don't really like using the smeltery if I can avoid it. Alright, so you guys become that, assuming, yep, aluminum plates. I actually had some. Well. Alright, so we're looking at the induction furnace, so I need one of those, which is going to require four more steel now. That's electrical steel. Here it is. Now the bio generator works great. Its downside is it doesn't have a really good power transfer ability. At least not enough to keep up with the metal press in and of itself. And now I have advanced alloys now. That's that's wonderful. But we have our induction smelter, our furnace. The induction smelter is from thermal. And then we have our thermal centrifuge. Okay, free drawer controller. I'll take it. And another stack of razor wire. And we're just going to put some of that stuff away for now. And some of that. That's so what does it say? Used to process depleted fuel rods, among other things. Actually, let's... Clear that out. There we go. And thermal centrifuge. You can also take... Like crushed ores and run them through to get a little bit of extra, plus some like stone dust occasionally, so on and so forth. Uh, the purified ones don't get you stone dust. Clay dust, though, into silicon dioxide. And then hey, you can process good amounts of uranium. Which, hey, I can make knock, Mahara Mox, not Nox. Or I can melt it down into molten uranium this way. Which can then be casted into the ingot, so. Hmm. And this stuff can use more uranium ingots. Okay. Well then. So if I want to reclaim this stuff, I can run through a smeltery. That's, yeah. Something to keep in mind. Or washing plant, though. That's the last thing on my list here. Uh, let's see. Buckets, electric motors, circuit... I just need the motors. Okay. I need four of these. And, of course, I'm a little bit short. Alright, we're back. I got my coils. I should be able to make two motors. And... Or washing plant. Hey, alright. Awesome. Quest reward is congealed blood blocks. This should jump really high. That's four each, so that's just four stacks of slime balls. Awesome. Alright, let's go ahead and put that away for now, too. And that's that chain complete now, finally. So here we got the recycler, mass fab, pattern storage, scanner, replicator, and iridium. High voltage, electric jetpack, yeah. I think I'll pass on most of that stuff for now. How much dark steel do I have right now? Uh, block plus six. Can I make an enchanter? One of these. Uh, requires infused diamond, magical wood, arcane, and sorcellator. Yeah, no, I don't think I can. That requires a machine frame, which requires a thermionic fabricator. Requires pink slime. Iron case, machine case, heavy engineering. Okay, I can do most of that. And Windows decided to pop up an error right there. Huzzah. Great. But I think I'm going to go ahead and cut here, and I'm going to actually start working on some buildings, and maybe fill this lake. I don't know. But uh, something functional besides just popping out some stuff. Maybe an ore processing room? Hey, we're back, and I got myself automatic steel production going IC2 way, and this is so slow. 
Uh, Red right on the wiki, this thing can only take a max of 20 e uh, heat units. I mean, you can give it more, but it, it only uses up to a maximum of 20. So, and it really only needs one heat uh, unit per tick to uh, to stay hot. So, yeah, that's great. I made extra coils for no reason. But basically how it works, I've got a compressor here. The cell, empty cell hits it, fills it full of compressed air, pumps it into the blast furnace via conduit from Ender.io, because these things are awesome. And, you know, empties it into this reservoir, which holds, yeah, eight buckets of gas. Oh, there it goes. Hold it out. I have it, this extracting on brown, pump it back into here on brown. And it's filtered so it only grabs, you know, empty universal cells. Because otherwise it will try to grab steel and throw it into there if you're not careful and try to turn it into a block of steel. It's back into there. And the cool thing about universal fluid cells is they can actually transfer smaller amounts. They don't have to do a full bucket at a time. But yeah, it's been running a couple minutes here. Easy. And it's produced me one steel. But and then over here, we have a chest with pulverized iron. I got this by throwing iron ore into the uh, manufactory, which it doubled it still, so it works out. But yeah, I'm doing this because I want a lot of concrete and a slag. And it's all being powered by the plutonium RTG at a whole whopping eight forge energy per tick. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot to run these machines. I could overclock the compressor, but honestly, there's no point to it. You can't overclock the blast furnace because it relies on heat. Which is from this electric heater here, which, yeah. Currently transmitted heat slash max transferable heat. But throwing these coils in here will bump us up to 60. And... It doesn't seem to be making a lick of difference, so. Which is a shame. But, yeah, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and put those away. And I can probably pull this stuff out here, because I don't. I was making extra copper coils, but yeah. So, this is the treated wood crafting table from Engineers Decor. Looks cool. Has its own internal inventory of eight slots for holding things like tools and whatnot. And. Retains its inventory. Also, it will remember recipes. These buttons here on the left are for. Like, hey, I want to make copper coils. Boom, there's a recipe for it. That's all I have made so far, so that's the only one in there. But go ahead and head on back to here. And yeah, I haven't really done a whole lot in here. Oh, hi, zombie. Yep, you're dead. Wow, you dropped a lot of stuff there, dude. And that's just junk. Well, let's put like that away as well. I've been trying to get this thing to split again, and it's just not cooperating. I've got uh, simple fluid conduits here, the regular ones from Indrio, pulling out of the bottom of this. The uh, the light wells are sighted. You have to extract it at the bottom. Oh, yeah, you're not going to work. Oh, you did. Okay. Hi. You're dead. Yep, now she's working. But I guess let's go ahead and get ourselves another... Another aquamarine here. I need one. Whoop. And... There we go. That's going to start producing liquid starlight, which goes straight to the barrel. Which then I can just fetch out as I want. It works. And let's go ahead and put that away. And I guess let's look at our quest book here. I did do a few quests off camera, like the Mufasa, or the, actually, yeah, MFSU. Got that one completed. I upgraded the MFE I had in my little IC2 building over there to MFSU. Or sturdy casings. That's actually kind of handy. But right now it's just being powered by the one wind or water turbine, and it's not doing particularly great. It takes a long time to fill that up. But with the MFSU, I will be able to charge up Quantum Armor. So if I want to upgrade, I don't know how much of an upgrade it would be, though, going from Terra Steel to Quantum. Uh, glass Fiber can transfer extreme voltage, which is 8,096 EU per tick. Also has the lowest loss, energy loss. So, that's awesome. 
and it's all expensive. Also, two congealed purple slime blocks. Actually, not terrible. And then the construction foam sprayer uh, can be used in case I see two cables to form facades. Also, you can build something with scaffolding and then replace the scaffolding with it. And Ardite coins. Yay. And let's just go ahead and we're going to trash that. But I still need to be able to recycler and this whole chain here, which is the, the UU matter chain. And then the nuclear reactor, plutonium, and R2G fuels, which, yeah, I don't need access to it yet, so I'm not going to worry about building a nuke. Uh, X utilities, I did build some drums, and then promptly did not use them because they're flipping expensive. And expensive options for fluid storage, my rear. That's four little compressed cobble, some stone burnt, slabs, a bucket. I mean, it's not, that's not bad. And that got me a block of fairy metal. More ingots for me. And then the food storage too, so iron drums. Uh, this one's quite a bit more expensive. Two dense iron plates. Iron sheet metal, so that's what? 9, 18, 22. And then two cauldrons, which is seven iron plates each. So we're looking at what? 36, basically four blocks of iron to make this thing. Plus the stone drum. And I got a block of emerald. Masonry chisel, but still, I mean, it's a block of emerald. Now, the next thing here is the food storage three. Reinforced large drum. This one's even worse. It takes three iron drums to make this. So that's 12 blocks of iron there. Compressed diamond and dense gold plates. And yeah, that's uh, perfectly ideal. But we're not going to be doing that one. Dragon egg mill, that's... Uh, Requires some nether stars and some stone burn. I have a stone burn. Nether stars haven't done that so far. And I guess I could like start working on some of the generators and stuff like that. I do want to automate a rainbow generator this playthrough if I can. This seems like a fun little challenge to do. But we're going to hold off on that for now. Now, mechanism. I did make the advanced solar generator, which... Uh, four regular solar generators, are large iron plate... Osmium and reinforced alloy. Not terribly expensive. And that got me four resonating gems. That's pretty good. But we have ourselves our advanced solar now. Which. Downside. It makes noise. And apparently attracts creepers. Alright. Oh, sweet. It's split. Awesome. But we're going to pick that up for now. Because it's going to go somewhere where I can't hear it. Because. Yeah. It does get on my nerves after a while. So we have 82% purity, 82% purity, brick. It did not increase purity. It's a, it's a wee bit of a crapshoot, honestly. Sometimes it just doesn't work. But now I have to build this thing back up to 900. And then I think I've had it seven buckets of like a starlight after that to finally get it split. So I could build a wind generator, though. These things are also a little bit on the noisy side, though. It needs tool casings, uh, windmill I have, tool casings. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. It's more free power. Wand. I can type. So this guy here. So I need two of these. Which, and that's the only use for these, is by the way, is to make the wind generator. And hey, look. There we go. Done. And. Oh, the generator's done. But you, you can kind of just barely hear it. It's not a deal, but I might put a few of them up there. I don't know. I haven't decided how I'm going to do all that quite yet. We have the biogenerator we made a while ago, actually. That quest is complete as well. Hardened cell frame. Hello. I can use that to make a simple machine chassis. As soon as I get my hands on some titanium alumide. Or alumnide, sorry. And dark iron I can make right now, actually. And then I can also upgrade it to reinforce cell frame. Uh, elite crafting for 
but a solar array tier controller tier five, which can be used to make create a power cell. I need four of those. No, I need two of those. I need two tier fives and two tier fours. Also, solar array controller tier six, which requires a draconic reactor core. Yeah. I definitely plan on building one of these, though, just because I can, but oh, good lord. It requires four singularities, which one, each one of these is 10,000 of that item. Uh, the pellets of RTG fuel I actually got as a quest reward. High voltage solar arrays, which are always fun. Uh, yeah, it's it's not cheap. But at the same time, it's, it's probably worth it. I don't know. By that point in time, I might get better power gen out of other things, but... Fire generator uses biofuel to produce energy. Huzzah. General so's chicken. Yay, more food. I got 15 of those now. And I think that was it for the quests, actually. Hmm. But I've been working on a kind of a, a big project, and I'm gonna hold off on showing it off, but I need st stupid amounts of concrete. Uh, it's just extreme. <laughs> Good lord, yeah. So much. I'm getting nuggets. Okay. And let's just go ahead and make some more cells up. Or cans, sorry. I'm out of iron again. How much is that? 64. Leaves me with a single iron ingot. Okay. But it will be worth it, I think, to turn it into steel. So also probably should go ahead and get myself some more uh, iron going. Whoop. Or not iron. Coal. Coal coke. That stuff. I need iron as well. Which I'm not actually not doing terrible. I've got 483 iron ore left. But yeah. It's, uh, it's not processed. Go ahead and I'll see you into there for now. Should be okay. You're going to be doing your thing. Fun times. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying the series. And until next time. Sign signing out. Have fun. <laughs>